Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to look at a GCSE Design and Technology question. Um, this is a kind of mixed question so it's got a section here um, on materials, stock form and finishes and then it has a second part um, relating to it which is on um, uh, products that are manufactured overseas. So it's kind of a typical mixed exam GCSE question. So if we look at this first bit here, so the first part of the question says um, the three products below are manufactured from different materials. Complete the grid below by adding the original stock form and an appropriate finish. So we're looking at stock forms and finishes. And we've got three products here which are a barbecue tool a stool, school, a school stool, and some electrical windings. Okay, and it's asking us to name the specific main material by specific. It means not a generic main material. You should never put metal, plastic, wood, whatever. Always in an exam, write a specific material. So let's look at this first one. The first one is a barbecue tool, and it's made from um, stainless steel. There's stainless steel. And the stock form. So stock form, obviously, it is pressed, but the, the stock that would have been used originally would be sheet. So it's just... Or well, sheet stainless steel, but sheet. Um, and the, the finish, well, obviously, it's a barbecue tool. You, you don't want anything to burn off or chip off onto the food, so it's just a polished finish. So the finish would be um, polishing. Next one is the school stool. So obviously that would be mild steel. Mild steel. And the stock form would obviously be tube. Steel tube. And the finish, obviously, it's a p finish could be painted. So what I'm going to put painted. You, I think you would get a mark for powder coated as well, or plastic coated. I think you'd probably get away with a mark for any of those, but painted will do. Last one, the um, main material is copper. And it is wire. So the stock form is wire, it's, it's pulled um, on a wire pulling machine into wire. Um, and the finish, now because these wires touch each other and obviously the wire doesn't want to conduct, there is a lacquer, it is a non-conducting lacquer. So it is strictly speaking a paint but we would say it was a lacquer. Um, okay, let's look at part two, oh sorry, this part. Um, the second part, the company that makes the stool, school stool has decided to move manufacture of the product overseas. Give two reasons why a company might manufacture products overseas. So it's relating to this product here, let's go back down to here, relating to this product here and it's saying this product is moving from um, domestic manufacture, so manufactured in this country, to being manufactured overseas. Give two reasons why a company might manufacture products overseas. So we need to put two reasons there. Now it's got two marks, so we need to just rather than write a, a brief, we've got to write a sentence at least. So um, we can say lower costs for um, wages um, and then that would be one mark so that a lower cost um, product could uh, be delivered to the customer. So basically, if they're paying lower cost wages, they can 
sell the product cheaper. Oh, that's the idea. So that would be your first reason. Reason two could be um, sourcing um, closer to raw materials. Um, or the raw materials um, might be abundant in the area moved to. So rather than moving the raw materials to the area to be manufactured, which are sometimes are bulky because they're not processed, it might be cheaper to move, uh, manufacture the product where the raw materials are abundant and then just transport the, have a lower transport cost of transporting the um, finished product. Okay. And the last part, products that are manufactured overseas can raise social and ethical issues. Explain two social or ethical issues the maker of the stool should consider. The example likes to put in um, social and ethical issues. So be they about the, the environment or social and, and just, so we'll answer this. Um, so the first one could be poor working conditions. for workers um, which could be and again we're looking at two marks here so that would probably get us one mark and we can say um, just give examples which might be low pay or child labor exploitation So we've just given examples, poor working condition workers, one mark, low pay and child labour exploitation. Last of all, um, I think we can say environmental issues, okay, and we can say environmental issues um, as so that would be one mark perhaps as environmental legislation may not be in place so environmental legislation may not be in place um, or may be ignored So the last point there, environmental issues as environmental legislation may be not in place or may be ignored. So I think we'd get two marks for that. So there is, there's, the, there's, there's our mixed, um, a kind of mixed GCSE exam question. You might get that as a question. So that the first bit is on stock forms um, and materials. And then moving down to this second part. And the second part is on offshore manufacture. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.